Sometimes it's important to know that you can have a negative mantissa and you can also have a negative exponent. Now it's important to recognize that in this exam, in the AQA computer science exam, you are allowed a calculator. So that means you can work out the decimal values. What I'm going to do is give you our 12-bit number first. Okay, so we've got that. And then we've got our exponent. So we've got our mantissa. And then we've got our exponent. Now one thing to make sure that you pay attention to is that we are using 2's complement. Which means, I'm just going to write this in here. 2's comp, 2's complement. That means that this number represents a negative number. So we're going to start with the exponent first. And we know we've got minus 8, 4, 2, 1. Minus 8 plus 4 plus 2 is equal to minus 2. We also know this is a negative number. Now, when we're working with negative mantissa and negative exponent, what we've got to do is pad it with 1s. Okay, so what you, because it's a negative number, what we do, and I'm just going to write this out, is, so decimal place was there, which means it's normalized, but what we do is, rather than just move it, pad it with 1s, so I'm going to write it out first, so I'm going to go, so pad it with this many 1s, so I'm going to write 1, 1, 1 point zero, 1, 1, 1, 10, 11. So I've padded it with 1s and put the decimal place in. Now, I've padded it, I can move it back twice. 1, 2. So I end up with minus 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So you can see what I've done there. I've padded it with this many, with two ones, okay, then moved the decimal place. Now is the part where you've got to work out. So let me make this neater for you. 1.110111. One, 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 one. I'm just spacing this out so you can see it better. I know that this is minus 1, but these numbers are positive, okay? So we've got a half quarter, 8, 16, 32, and 64. Now, if you work that out, you can do 1 divided by 2, 1 divided by 4, 1 divided by 8, and 16, and 32, and so on, to work out what those decimals are. So what you should end up with is 0.5, I'm going to tick that off, 0.25, I'm going to tick that off, 0 0.0625, going to take that off, 0 0.03125, that's it, and 0 0.015625. Now when you add all of those together, that is equal to 0 0.85975. But then you've got to add it to the minus 1. So we're going to plus it to minus 1. And you end up with the value minus 0 0.140625. So that is how you work out a negative exponent and a negative mantissa. So watch that back and see if you can apply that technique to any similar questions that you may have worked on. Good luck.